And so the water's 63 degrees. That's a big shocker for people because you're in a bathing suit. Yeah. Um, and then you have to do a freestyle, go all the way down and back. I believe it's 80 seconds. You have to be able to swim pretty fast, and you have to put your face in the water. People try and do this. They fail you. Yep. Um, you have to do an underwater breath hold, which is about, they actually made it less now because we weren't less in the test. Um, but 80 feet. But this is pretty fun. It's almost the entire length of that pool. Underwater, one breath. And then you have to dive down, I believe it's almost 20 feet to retrieve a weight. And they took out, there was a platform dive, a six foot dive, to see if you had good diving form. I think they took that out. It's been a while since I've taken it. And then I know you treaded water for five minutes with your hands up. And then they give you a microphone and they expect you to, you're out of breath, but be able to talk. And yeah, yeah. It's a freestyle in the underwater. The other elements are pretty easy. But it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Same father as that guy as well. Yeah, that's what animals have to do. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So we have a so this is a safety device we got post-2010, um, and what it is is it's an air belt. And so we wear it around our waist. This is a little air, air cylinder, and it does hold 3,000 PSI, just like a normal scuba bottle, but it is very small and compressed. So you only get about a minute and a half to two minutes if you're a really calm breather, right? If you're, <laughs> you're going to go through it like that. But we practice with these eight times a year, so, and we do drills with them. Um, so that we become proficient, kind of rolling around, swimming, um, burning that oxygen so that we can conserve it. Also on this, there are these beads. If we pull these beads, there's an air cylinder in here, and it inflates this, and it inflates a big bladder. Yeah, and what that does, it'll take you down from 40 feet to the surface. So if you're exhausted, you cannot make it. Only in our medical pool do we do any kind of water descents. What that means is if someone were to run down the stadium, jump in that pool, these girls would know how to behave. Um, we're not so unique of being out of the water that they won't let us out of the water. Um, so we practice that. Objects, people, things like that. And then they just have to be able to go to a safety position out of harm's way so we can retrieve that object from the water. Yes, we practice drills all the time. Plus a lot of our whales, except for the two youngest, did water work. So they have very good water etiquette, which is great. Um, it's something that we can kind of um, look back on and we can help our younger whales. Oh yeah, they've been there. They've been there. Yeah. Yep. He's been at this SeaWorld for 24 years. Yeah, yeah, he's 26. Um, he actually was at a Canadian park. That's where he was born. And so when that park shut down,